Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, July 23rd, and I am coming to you live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the 2012 Summer Television Critics Association Press Tour. And I have a special guest with me, Brent Furtick from TV Week in Vancouver. Hello, Brent. Hey, Mark. Great to be here. Nice to have you. Brent is my buddy. We hang out during the whole tour. We sit yes. next to each other in the ballroom during all the many sessions. And how many sessions do you think there are in a summer press tour? Wow, that's a great question. There's <laughs> got to be 100 plus. A lot of 100, 100, 100 plus. And you know, as, as much fun as it is, and it's a lot of fun, you're sitting in there basically um, from nine in the morning till sometimes six at night without any breaks. Without, and, and it gets to be a long day. It's a huge long day. Plus, what they don't tell you is they keep that ballroom the temperature of a meat locker. <laughs> it's freezing in there. Right, Maybe 90 right. degrees outside because we're in you know, Beverly Hills, but it'll be freezing in this ballroom. And come to think of it, it's a little cold in here. It, it is a little cold. It's yes, a little so. brisk. Now, we're here for, um, this is Fox Day. Yeah. And, or actually the first of two days for Fox. It's really Fox and then FX the next day. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. So it's broken up. But um, basically, Fox is introducing three new shows this fall. That's not a lot. Not a lot not of new a shows lot. for Fox. I thought their Probably schedule enough. was very, um, I thought it was too tame. Yeah, Didn't you I, I agree. I think it seemed like they needed to take more chances, mm -hmm. get a little more out there, build on what they've done, but yes. it just seemed very ordinary. It did, and I think, you know, the problem is they're banking on The X Factor really doing well. I mean, it did, had The X Factor been a general show yeah. at all the hype, we would have said it did well, but I think it was disappointing. It was. I don't think Britney Spears and Demi Lovato um, won't make any difference to you. Well, yeah. You know what? Maybe they'll bring in those tween viewers that they seem right, to want right. uh, so desperately. But in terms of, of what they're going to bring to the show, honestly, I, I, I don't see either of those two offering any great insights. I agree. Uh, I mean, I agree. Britney Spears was here at the TV Critics Press Tour, oh, it must have been 2002 maybe for an HBO mm -hmm, concert mm -hmm. that she was doing. Mm -hmm. She had nothing to say. <laughs> I mean, literally nothing to say. And I can't imagine what she's going to say to, to, to contestants. No. Assignment. And then, of course, the big question is, I, I don't know if they're going to announce anything about American Idol, if they're going to have any new judge, judges' information. I don't think they will yet. It's too I, premature. I doubt it. Well, I mean, the names are, you know, floating around. Are out Adam there. Lambert, Mariah right. Carey, right. whatever. I mean, look, it can't be worse than J-Lo and Steven Tyler, no. honestly. I mean, I, I, I know people have kind of have said, well, I think they did a good job. No, they didn't. I thought they were terrible. I thought, you cannot say, I love your spirit. <laughs> and, and, and pass that off as valid criticism. Story. I agree. Doesn't I work. agree. I, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But the bottom mm -hmm. line is they have three new shows. We yep. have a drama called The Mob Doctor. The Mob Doctor. And we have two sitcoms, which are Ben and Kate yes. and The Mindy Project. Mm -hmm. Let's start with The Mob Doctor. It's airing at Mondays at 9 o'clock Eastern Time out of Bones. Yep. And it features Jordana Spiro as a somebody who gets involved in the mob for some reason and ultimately <laughs> is their doctor. I don't know. What do you... <laughs> well, you gotta, first of all, you got to love that title. I mean, I, I love titles that pretty much tell you everything you need to know in three words. Mob Doctor. Right. Okay. I think I got the concept. What did you think of it? Uh, you know, it was kind of meh. Yeah. Man, it was. Yeah. I mean, I like her. I think she's a great actress. I think she brings a lot yes. to it. But yes. the show itself, it, there's nothing we haven't seen before. Honestly. I agree. I agree. And I agree. you know, after after the Sopranos, frankly, if you're going to do something about the mob, the bar has been raised. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you're almost better to not do anything unless you can bring something new to it and this brought nothing new to it. I agree. And you know, I mean, I always crunch the numbers and I look at the time period and the bottom mm -hmm. line is it's airing, you know, opposite a lot of heavy competition including Dancing with the Stars, yeah. including mm -hmm. Relocated to Broke Girls. And don't forget All-Star Dancing with the Stars this All year. All-Star Dancing with the Stars. So I'm giving it a thumbs down. I don't yeah. think it's going to work. I, I mean, you know, handicapping it on even odds to, not, to 10 to 1, mm -hmm. I'm giving it 9 to 1. I, I, think, I think you're being a little generous. <laughs> Probably. Ben and Kate. In terms of time oh. period, it's on at... I, I know. Oh, I am getting that totally. You know, yeah. Ben and Kate, it's on at 8.30 out of Raising Hope. The uh, immediate problem is Raising Hope cannot anchor an evening. It's a good no. show, but it's not strong enough. Yeah. I didn't like the pilot. I didn't find anything well, funny. I mean, for, first of all, the premise is just stupid. It's, mm -hmm. it's a woman who is... You know, been been saddled with her brother, who's kind of an idiot her whole life, <laughs> and and that's pretty much it, isn't it? That the, the yes. brother comes into yes. her life every once in a while, screws things up, and she just says, "Oh well, it's my brother, I love him," <laughs> and, and that's 
Uh, pretty much it. I mean, that's I was I thought that was getting old by the end of twenty two minutes. I was. I can't imagine it. what that's going to look like. It's a not going to work. Down the, down the line. You know, they wanted to do a two hour sitcom block live action, which sure. I admire them for. They tried it in the spring. Uh-huh. It didn't work from eight to nine. I don't think mm. this is going to work, and I'm giving it seven to one odds. Am I being generous? No, I think so. I think so. I mean. You know, like like you said it, Raising Hope is a great show, but yes, if, if, it, if it hasn't found an audience by now, I don't think that's going to happen. I agree. And, you know, saddling it with this piece of dung is not going to help, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> right now, um, The Mindy Project, which I think of the three new Fox shows, has the best shot. It's out of yeah. New Girl, Tuesday at 9.30. What I liked about it was Mindy Kaling. Mm-hmm. We know her from The Office. We yes. never really saw a lot of her. No. This is all about Mindy Kaling, mm-hmm. and um, I think it works very well. I, You know what? This this is actually one of my favorite shows uh, of any network from, from this season. Mm-hmm. I thought... Uh, I thought it was fresh. It was funny. She has a really unique voice. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing about Mindy Kaling is she, she's actually taken, created something that's quite unique. It's it's a romantic comedy that makes fun of romantic comedies. Yes, like spoofs yes. all those romantic yes. comedy conventions. Right. Mm-hmm. And you know, first of all, she's a really engaging personality. Um, I think there's nobody else like her on television. I agree. In terms of the way she looks, Mm -hmm. the attitude she brings, and I think people are really going to like it. And and I'm not a rom-com guy. I don't Mm -hmm. really like romantic comedies. Mm -hmm. You you, you, you can take me to a Jennifer Aniston movie at gunpoint. (laughs) I thought it was very funny and very fresh, and I enjoyed it a lot. So did I. What odds would you give it? Um, it? I'd say it's got a, I thought it's, I think it's got a really good shot. I'm going to be, I'm going to be very optimistic. Three to one odds. Three to one, that's, yeah. Out of New Girl. I, I think it's got potential to be breakout hit. I am I really with you do. on that. And we are heading to Fox Day. I want to thank you very much for joining me, Brad. Thank you, Mark. Will you come back? back? I will, will come absolutely back? come back. Well, I appreciate it. And this is our daily video cast. We are coming to you live from the summer TCA press tour. At the fabulous Beverly Hilton Hotel. Yes, and it is, it is fabulous. Yes. I am Mark Berman, and you are? Brent Furtick, editor of TV Week. And yes. uh, I also blog at shawconnect.ca. Thank you very much for joining us. And we'll be back with more news from TCA tomorrow. Signing off, Mark Berman and Brent Furtick. Take care, everyone. Have a good one.